All right, back to back studies as I got a little behind. Now we're caught up. Thursday study. Let's continue. The woman saith unto him, the Samaritan, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. For whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman saith unto, hopefully you're watching these in order. You want to start at the playlist. Uh, just go to this YouTube channel. And instead of clicking videos, click playlist and start the playlist from the beginning, the John playlist. Anyway, woman saith unto him, sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus saith unto her, go, call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto him, Jesus said unto her, thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he, who, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband, and that saidest thou truly. In other words, you're telling the truth that you've been living a scandalous life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. In other words, like you're reading my mind here. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Sir, the woman said, you must be a prophet. So tell me, why is it that you Jews insist that Jerusalem is the only place of worship, while we Samaritans claim it is here at the Mount Gerizim, where our ancestors worship? So anyway, we'll get to that continuing story tomorrow. Let's continue on to Daniel, the angel, waking him up from that slumber or helping him up or picking him up. Then said he unto me, fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou, thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Now, is it Daniel that really set his heart to understand, or did the or did God call him to understand? Well, Daniel's sitting here inside the word of God, isn't he? We're in the word, and there's Daniel. And then you go back to the Gospel of John, first chapter. The Word was before anything was made, and everything that was made was made by the Word. So the script was already written, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Which goes right in line with Isaiah 46, 10, the most important Bible verse in all the Word of God, that God has declared the end from the beginning, that everything is set in stone. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became numb. And this is Jesus again in green, in my opinion. I'm not dogmatic about it, but in my opinion, and this goes back to yesterday's study, but like we said, hopefully you're watching these from the very beginning. If it's Daniel you want to focus on, you want to focus on the very big, you want to go to the Daniel playlist. These do overlap, of course, but it's which one are you more focused on that you want to make sure you watch from the beginning? That's the playlist you would want to start. So anyway, and when he had spoken such words to me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. 
And behold, like one like the similitude of the sons of men touched me on my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spake, and he sa and said unto him that stood before me, O my Lord, by the vision of my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my Lord, for as for, as for me? Straightway there remain no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. And this will be the angel again. Then there came again and touched me one like unto the appearance of, of a man. And he strengthened me. And he said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee. Be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, let my Lord speak for thou hast strengthened me. All right. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.